Right, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. The first one is an idea for like, I suppose you could call it like a key ring fire kit. I'll put these things on this key ring. Obviously, that's a little bit big to carry with you, but it'll give you some ideas of what you could use or what you could put on. So, you've got your key ring. And on here, I've got ferro rod and a striker. Bit of fat wood there. There's tinder. Or fire like you know starting your fire I can't remember whether, whether this is jute or it might be jute twine or something like that but it's flammable if you break this up it makes excellent tinder this stuff so take it off and unplat it that's just been platted take it off unplat it take some of these strands off like that excellent for fire lighting that is The lighter on there, and it's held on with the HDPE thing I'd made for it, like holder. <clears throat> and then in this thing, I suppose if you could get a smaller little tube than this, it might be better. Depends if you mind carrying a lot of stuff on your keys. And what I'd put in here is matches and that's a bit of cardboard soaked in candle wax and then another bit there. So that would give you quite a few ways of lighting a fire. So you've got three ways of making a fire and three different ways or three different types of tinders even carried with you on your keys now if you could get yourself a carbon steel one of these I don't know if they do carbon steel but a carbon steel one you could even have or you might be able to get something to make you a little key ring one a little fire steel this won't work because this is aluminium but if you could get one made out of steel or something similar, perhaps have a ring on the end and a ring on the end, put down a key ring, you'd have a little small fire steel there. <coughs> so that's a few items for making fire, like a key ring fire kit. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was the other day I'd done a video about making these little things out of HDPE and I said I would try a sheaf well over the weekend I tried getting some foam doing that, nothing would work not with just the kind of stuff I'd just been finding it was just like rubbishy bits here and there, whatever so I tried it, wouldn't work uh, I managed to make one, didn't come up very well but I seem to take a lot of time and effort in trying to make the shape of the knife with it. And it kind of ruined it. So what I did, I made one earlier tonight. I'll show you it and I'll show you, I'll roughly show you how I made it. And what I do, I actually do a proper like tutorial of the whole thing of how to make one. So for my Mora Classic, this is what I made. So that was a <coughs> HDPE oil can, heated it up in the same way, but like I said I didn't have any foam or anything, so what I did was I got a small thin bit of leather, two bits of wood and a couple of clamps, and the way I did it I heated it up wrapped the HDP over it and I put the lever over like this and where the blade was I put one piece 
up to the hilt of the knife, put the other piece up to the hilt of the knife, and that gave me, that pressed it against the blade, and I put a clamp on that one, and then to get the shape around the handle, what I then did, because obviously the HDPE was sticking out of here, it was quite a big sheet, and I just got another clamp, and clamped it around the handle like that. Left it for about five minutes. And then that was the result of it, how it came out. I was actually really impressed with that. And all I did was riveted it. I put two of the brass eyelets there. And the rest I just had some rivets, so I put them in there. Only little small ones. That's good enough. Well, I was quite impressed with that. The good thing with HDPE is it's quite flexible. It's not really brittle at all. It's flexible. But it's hard enough as well at the same time. And this stuff is quite thin. With what I'm looking to do, I'm going to try and find some better, thicker stuff. And I've just been trying to think of some different, what you know, kind of different things which is thicker. So I was thinking maybe an old petrol can or a diesel can, or maybe some old buckets and stuff like that, if they're made out of HDPE. But what I'll do, if I get time over the week, I'll do it. If it's not over the week, I'll do it on the weekend. I'll do a video of making a similar one for another knife. I'll do the whole process, show you how to do it. I was quite impressed with how that came out. The only thing is, I don't really like the blue colour, but what can you say, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But the shape and how that came out, I was very happy with that. So anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you later.